are the catalysts of change. Without us, there is no change. Hi, everyone. I'm Sun, and in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to teach you guys how to plant an idea in someone's head. Really. So if you ever try to change someone's mind, you know how hard it is. Whether it's a sales meeting, a job interview, or you're trying to convince someone to go on a date with you. <laughs> so for me, it's especially hard because I'm not really a people person. I tend to be, have a very analytical brain, so I try to solve everything like it's a math problem. Usually, whenever I try to convince someone, it turns into a debate. First comes the what about. Oh, what about this? What about that? And you think that if I give a fact, they're going to change their mind, right? But no, they become defensive. They actually double down in their bad idea. Next, it turns into an argument. And then comes the delayed comebacks. You know, like 30 minutes later, oh, I should have said this. You take out your phone. <laughs> oh, not to mention, dun, 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 send. <laughs> right? So, <laughs> I knew that this was a problem, but my rock bottom moment, when my sister came to visit me from Chicago. The first night she was here, we got into a conversation about how I can't spend time with her that week, because I'm busy. But it actually turned into a debate, and it escalated into an argument. And I actually ended the conversation by saying, even you being here is a waste of my time. Needless to say, I didn't change her mind. <laughs> the next morning, I woke up, and she was gone. But she left a note. It said, son, I have to go back to Chicago for work. And this has nothing to do with what happened last night, so don't worry about it. Love, Gina. For the next 10 minutes after that, I just started bawling out crying. And it's not because I felt bad that my sister came to visit me and left right away. It's that she said, don't worry, this wasn't about last night. Because I know it was. She knows it was. And I knew that everybody around me also felt that way. So I knew I needed to change. A few years later, the pandemic happened. We're all working from home. And I started logging into Zoom every day. And I actually recorded every Zoom conversation. I wanted to watch it back and see how I can improve. Now, I also took little clips from there and started posting them on Instagram. And some of those videos did really well, and some of them bombed. I remember when I told you I have an analytical brain? I always thought that was a weakness of mine. But then, my analytical brain started looking at all the videos did well and started recognizing a pattern. So I reverse engineered it. And I came up with a formula that works every single time. You all heard of the compliment sandwich, right? It's where you take a criticism, sandwich in between the compliments. Well, this is called the myth-truth sandwich. And this is how it works. You start with the myth, which is the old idea that you want to change. And you follow that with an example that contradicts the old idea. But this example, they have to agree with it. If they don't agree with it, it doesn't work. And then you end up with the truth, which is a new idea. Now, I made Instagram carousels out of this, started posting them, and they started going viral. Here's a few examples. <coughs> There's a myth. Here's a few examples that contradicts the myth. So here's the truth. Here's another example. Myth. Contradicting examples. And the truth. Here's another one. This one is specifically for designers. Here's a myth. Here's an example. <laughs> and here's the truth. 
So I started getting hundreds of thousands of views on these. And then the comments started coming in. One comment in particular really caught my eye. I never thought of it that way. But then I ignored it, right? But the next day I saw it again. I never thought of it that way. And then again, and then again, and then again. I kept seeing I never thought of it that way. <laughs> so I started to break down what this means. I never thought of it that way. The key phrase here is that way. Because this means they have thought of this, but there's an area here of this topic they never even went to. This neighborhood they never visited. What I did was I just opened the door for them. And here you go, go explore. Literally, an idea has been planted inside their head. Now, TED is all about ideas worth spreading, right? So what does that mean? Why do you spread an idea? Because there are people out there with the bad idea, the old idea, that we want to replace with the new idea. That's changing people's mind. I want to end this with a myth truth of my own that I think is relevant for this talk. Myth. You can change people's mind with an idea. That I can talk to somebody and change their mind. Example, when's the last time you actually got into a debate and you actually changed that person's mind? Where they say, oh son, thank you so much for showing me the truth. <laughs> I was wrong this whole time, that's never gonna happen. Truth is, you can't change people's mind. What you can do is plant an idea inside their head. Let them say, I never thought of it that way, and hope that that seed of an idea will grow little by little, and eventually, they'll end up changing their own mind. Thank you. <laughs>